am back on this hot and humid day in Wisconsin. I know we complain and we whine about the cold, some of us do, all year long, and then it gets hot and humid, and what do we do? We complain and whine about the hot and humidity, but I hate humidity, it sucks, I can't breathe, my bald head sweats, I get pissed off, but hey, I inked a deal to help that, and that's gonna be coming down the road, we're gonna talk about that. Yes, I inked a deal to free up the air in this place. So, we're gonna talk about that, but today on our team talk that you wanted, I have something that Jordan, has said that you want. I don't believe that, but this is what he says you need. See, he can fudge this anyway, because he's the one that reads all this stuff, and he's, yeah, they want this, they want that. I don't believe him. But anyway, we have something today for you that I think you're gonna enjoy. It is the team talk on the Taihatsu 250, correct? We're talking about the Taihatsu 250 in my hand. Now, I don't know a lot about the Taihatsu. I've done some work on them. A lot of the two-stroke stuff I did some work on. Uh, it looked like an Optimax type of thing, but now we're into this kick-ass four-stroke Taihatsu the bad fucking no, that's not what it is. It, it's BFT. What can? What is it? What BFT? That is the. What? What is the BFT? What is it? The big mother or what's going on? The badass. Yeah, badass. Yeah, badass. Fucking Taihatsu. Yes, it's the badass fucking Taihatsu coming at you. So we got the Taihatsu 250 badass fucking Taihatsu coming at you right now. You ready? Here we go. We're gonna compare it to what we call. The Honda BF250, right? We got a good comparison here. So this one is labeled the Great Imposter. Wonder why? Hmm, let's go. You ready? Bam! So we're gonna do. Let's do some Honda numbers. Are you ready? Let's do the engine. 60 degree, 24 volt, 24 valve V6, right? That's what we got. So we got a 60 degree, 24 valve V6, um, 300 or 3583, and it's a 219 cubic inch. Let's slide over to the Taihatsu. That's a 60 degree. 24 valve V6 with uh, 219 cubic inches also. Okay, all right, the boring stroke. This is where things are gonna change. We got 89 by 96, and we go over to Taihatsu, it's 89 by 96. All right, throttle range, horsepower, the horsepower was max, full throttle, full throttle. 53 to 6300 on the Honda. The Taihatsu comes in at 53 to 6300. All right, induction, here we go, you ready? The induction is the, do they have a name for this or is it just the SOHC? Single overhead cam. I know, so, but I can call it the SOHC and people are gonna know what it is or do you want me to say, say the single overhead cam? Call it a SOC. All right, it's a SOC VTEC. Not an E-TEC, I didn't say E-TEC, a SOC VTEC, that's what it is. And over here on the Taihatsu, we have a SOC variable valve timing and lift control in words. All right, so we got words on this side, we've got not words, so there is a difference. We got, it's all right. All right, alternator, 90 total amps, uh, 60 charging amps. Let's jump over to the Taihatsu, 90 total amps, 60 charging amps. This is great, Jordan. I'm, we can do two of these at once. This is freaking awesome. Gear ratio, here's where it's gonna change. Uh, it's a 2.0 to 1, and the Taihatsu is a 2.0 to 1. Uh, here we go, here we go, dry weight. Now, how do they weigh these? This is with everything, is this loaded, do we know? No one knows. We don't fucking know. We don't know if it's dry. We don't know if it's got oil in it. We don't know if it's got. We don't know. Is is it the mercury time the weight away, or are we going like true weight like Suzuki? True weight. True weight. True weight because it's Japanese. Here we go. Dry weight, 611 pounds for the Tai for the Honda, and for the Taihatsu, she comes in with a big belly of 619. Eight pounds difference. Different. Different motor. Different. Different. Skin. Cowling. Cowlings are different. A little bit more plastic on this one. Huh? Huh? Maybe better prop, different prop? What's going on, Jordan? Warranty, five years, both sides. Now, pricing, we couldn't get accurate pricing because, well, no one really wants to just say, here, come get your motor because there's no motors available. So when you call, they say it's it's listed at 17,000. Well, that was 10 minutes ago. It's now 22,495. That's how this works. But here we go. So the price of this Honda BF250 comes in now we think this is with control, so Andy's gonna, it's 22,395 for the 250. We're gonna kick the controls out and go around 20K. I'm gonna say you pick one up around 20K. Let's slide over to the Taihatsu, um, and the Taihatsu comes at 16,5, no controls. So there's a price difference there. Everything's the same, color difference, um, and eight pounds. So we got eight pounds of weight that are different. Um, the Taihatsu kinda gotta do a couple sit ups and we'll get her cleaned up. And besides that, we are exactly the same. Same motor. 
I mean, it's literally, if you go on picture to picture, callings are the same, right? Like the curved lines, the vents, the back. Pictures are right here. They are? Right here? Right now? They're right here. So you'll see them. So it's Honda here? Or, Honda like this. What the fuck? So this one's Taihatsu and this is Honda. Like this, you'll see them right over here. So they're right here, so you'll be able to look at them. Um, but are you gonna do like the, th the spinning one so they can see it to just the side? Not on the budget. Why does it always come down to that? Yeah, whatever. All right, so Honda, the shared features. The shared, the whole fucking thing is shared. Why would you put shared features? I just went through it. The whole damn thing's the same motor. Just uh, what they call things. Oh, so the Honda has VTEC, Taihatsu has VVT. That kind of sounds French, doesn't it, Neil? Hey, Neil, come back here. Come back here. I wanted people to see your hair in the humidity. Humidity? Look at this. Look, look at the hair in the humidity. Look at the fucking curls and shit. I was at that point at one time. Now I'm just bald. Bald. Yeah, and that's his fault. White smoke. All right. So Honda has the VTEC, and Taihatsu has what we what the French say VVT. VVT. That's what they have. Uh, Honda has the Honda Blast system, the boosted low system, low speed torque system. So they have the Blast system. Taihatsu has the maximum acceleration system. Maximum, set. why couldn't they call that the mass? Just the mass, I mean, just to be cool. Why do they gotta just use words? It's be mass, it's the mass. Cause then you can have the blast system and the mass system. Hey, that's it. Marketing, huh? Huh, huh? Perfect. All right, let's, let's talk about the blast system. Uh, the boosted low speed torque, blast. System, which, it's the same thing. Hole shot and acceleration are dramatically improved by advancing ignition spark timing to within one degree of the knock limit during the hammer down. The hammer down? Is that, you didn't add that in there, that was there? The oh, hammer down. Okay. You're like fucking hammering it down. Like, let's get in it. Let's eat some shit. Let's get her, let's rip like a tater chip. Woo! W-O-T, hat backwards, ripping. Hammer down, fucking hammer down. So we're inches from blowing it up, is that what we're doing? We're just fucking teetering on the life support. Just giving her. Awesome. I love it. The blast system. Blast from the past. Here we go. The blast hammer down system inches from depth. I love it. Good. All right. So now we got some questions. Jordan says the questions came in about the Taihatsu. Um, who builds them? Honda or Taihatsu? I, Honda. I mean, it's a Honda. Are you that or Taihatsu's doing a really good job of stealing it and not getting copyright infringements or doing anything like that. But they're, I, they're working together somehow. They're, ha they're high fiving is what they're doing. I mean, they're just in different areas, but they're, they're high fiving. All right, so that's what we're going with with that. Performance compared, I don't know enough about these two. You know what I mean? Compared to like Yamaha Suzuki. Not gonna keep up. I mean, it, the Merc, Yamaha, Suzuki are, I mean, there's a reason why you don't see them on everybody's bass boat, right? That's, is that a good enough answer? Okay, thanks. Next, propping. Hard to prop, I, I would guess, I guess it's probably like the Yamaha's propping wise. It shouldn't be terrible, I mean, but is it gonna be like, hey, let's just grab this, put it on there? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. Like, the problem is you don't see a lot of these motors on bass boats if we're talking bass rigs, right? If we're not talking bass rigs, it's probably gonna be pretty simple. But if we're talking bass rigs, there's gonna be issues there. People, I mean, I get, we get emails for propping on their Hondas. And I, I just, I'm just honest, I don't know enough. I, I don't rig, I don't play, I don't mess with them. I just, I don't feel a need to. Honda has its place in this market, but I don't believe it's on bass boats. That's how I feel. So that's where I'm at. Um, Trim units, good, bad. I would say they're probably good. You know, they're probably they're probably that Suzuki looking style. I'm sure. I'm, I don't think anything crazy bad about them. Um, we're dealing with Japanese engineering here. It can't be junk. You know, Hondas are very reliable. Tatsus are reliable motors. They just I don't think they're at that point. Um, rigging, good or bad? Uh, I the early Hondas I hated the rigging. I hated the stupid big control box with the freaking lights and the choke. It was dumb. I didn't like it. But now today's I'm sure are, are better. Um, appearance between the Honda, it's the same motor. There's no difference. I mean, there's zero difference about them. I mean, when you see, they're right here, you can see them. They're right here, the color's different. So if you don't want a white or a pewter color, you gotta go buy a Taihatsu. You'll get like that dark bluish color, black. Simple. Um, overall experiences, I've said that five times. I don't have enough. I don't have enough experience. Um, but like I said, the reliability is gonna be there. We all know that. Honda makes a great reliable outboard. Taihatsu makes a good reliable outboard. Um, it's Japanese. They're, they're going to take the time to make sure it's built correctly. Um, your Taihatsu from the past experience. What? 
from past experience, I don't have any. Never worked on a Tahoe. I worked on two stroke. The old one that used to look like uh, like the Opti, like the half Opti, three cylinder. Had all the Opti sensors and shit in it. Like they stole the Opti parts from it and did that. I did some of that stuff. Four stroke, I'm not, I haven't even put my hands on a four stroke, the new one. So I don't even know what it looks like. Uh, what can Honda do better? What is Honda lacking? Performance, commitment, engineering, propping, uh, all the above. You nailed it. I don't think engineering's an issue. I really don't think. I think they engineer great outboard. Um, I think that what they're doing, because there's guys that are hopping these things up, right? There's car guys that are doing some shit with this stuff, I hear. The 150s. Yeah, the 150s are getting hopped up by car guys, right? Because essentially they just grabbed it out of their Honda Civic and fucking threw it in there and called it a day. So yeah, so, but I, you know, I think when it comes to performance, that's where they're lacking. The reliability is great. They're, if you're gonna just get a motor, put it on a pontoon, you're gonna do that stuff, gonna, you, you can go Honda all day long. You can go get your fishing boat, your 50, 60, whatever. Get, you can get a Honda and you have a bunch of reliability. Performance wise, you get into that bigger horsepower, you wanna go super fast, I don't know that you can do it. I know there's a bunch of guys complaining about it. We get it weekly, I get phone calls here. Um, we get a lot of questions about the Honda and why they can't get them to go. Uh, so that, I mean, I, I believe there's some lacking on performance. Is it propping? I think when it comes to Japanese engineering, I think Yamaha has it kind of figured out when it comes to propping, they do pretty good. I mean, they've invested money into propping, lots of it. Now, I, and it's the same with like Suzuki. I heard some rumors today that possibly they're working on some new propping stuff. They're working with some different manufacturers, which is great. I don't know who told them that do that, how many times ago but I don't know um, and, and I think Honda's the same way Honda's been about reliability putting a prop on it and making it do what it needs to do right I mean we don't care it goes it goes six grand and that's what we do but we don't care that it's going 48 miles an hour at six grand that's you gotta and, and it's the flip it's the ultimate flip that the motor company has to make Mercury's always been performance right they, they got their racing division they've been performance Yamaha came into this thing with the ability to do what they did then they added the show performance so now they're, it, it's, it's, that's the commitment. You take, you take $40 million and you pile it into performance, right? Or $50 million and pile it into performance. And that's how I think you get to that level. You have to commit a bunch of money to, not offshore. And I'm not saying offshore, offshore. Offshore to me is just, let's just keep it on the coasts. That's where it belongs. I don't want to even talk about it because it's a different thing. You put four of them on there. Yeah, great, good job, thanks. I'm talking one motor, one boat, 70 plus miles an hour let's do this that's what i'm talking about um so it that's what i'm saying mercury's always had the edge when it came to that because of their racing division right yamaha had the edge with the ability with the sho and with that performance suzuki's working towards that but that comes from money that comes from changing changing the tweak that comes from changing the gear ratios that comes from propping spending millions of dollars in propping right I mean, I remember back when I was running those big 203 champions, I'd spend upwards of probably two, $3,000 a year in props just to try to figure out what was needed, blueprinting and changing and doing some of that stuff. So um, it, it's not about, I, I talked to a prop builder today. Um, he agreed 100% with me that it doesn't matter if you're a dealer, doesn't matter if you're a performance guy. And these you guys that are performance guys will agree with me on this, that it's not about just grabbing this prop off the wall and just sitting on your boat and saying that's as good as it can get. It can always seem to get better. It's just a matter of finding the perfect setup for what you're doing. And that takes a lot of money. And Suzuki's still kind of trailing on that. They have the power plant to do it. I can make them do it. I can, I've had boats go fast. I mean, we can do this. And it's the same problem with Honda. You know, they could do it. You just got to do they want to spend that kind of money. Probably not. Why? They're selling outboards. They're, we talked to the Honda people, remember that conversation? There's not, a, they don't have a giant operation when it comes to that stuff. You know? Budget's smaller than the lawnmower division. Yeah, there you go. Their marine budget's smaller than the lawnmower division. Right, so they're putting more money in the lawnmowers and generators than they are the marine division. So that, I mean, so you see the budgeting, so you know what I mean? So that's where it's at, that's what that happens. And, and it was that way, I know Suzuki had that same issue until it became Suzuki America, with the marine division just being an American division, so there's, they're, the money they're making now is being put back into outboards, and that's the key. I think that I think a lot of those Japanese companies were that way. You know, the marine division would do 40 million, and it goes back to home, and it doesn't get reallocated back to the marine division. They put it into fucking Johnny's jet ski and Billy's fucking motocross machine and all that stuff. So, but now I think some of these companies are seeing that. So, and that we kind of got off the beaten path here with this, but I think it's good info, don't you, Jordan? Great info, great. So there we go. So if you want to get a great imposter and you want to save some money and you don't want to buy a Honda, 
go look at Taihatsu because you're going to get it cheaper and we just laid it out for you. It's the same motor. It just needs to do a couple sit-ups. It's eight pounds heavier. So um, it's the same. It's the imposter. It's got the mask on. Am I going to have a mask in the still shot? I am, aren't I? You're going to have glasses and a mustache. I am? Yep. Not, I can't use my own mustache? Nope. Just, hmm? Nope. This is going to be great. Can I have one of the bandanas on? Look like I'm going to go rob a bank? Nope. Why? Hi. Why? Why, Jordan? Hey, you can put one on you right now. Right now? Oh, right, you just put one on. <laughs> I got one on? Yep. Awesome. Perfect. That's great. Make sure it's, can I have a blue one? Sure. Thanks. All right, cool. All right, because I, I like the Taihatsu. That's why I want the blue one. I'd buy the Taihatsu. I'd run, I wouldn't run on my bass boat, but I'd run a Taihatsu. I'd run a small Taihatsu, no problem. But same motor, same deal. Cheaper if you go Taihatsu. That's it. That's all I got for you today, Jordan. It's too hot to be doing these videos. Turn the air on. No budget. Hey, hey, see your bugs? Your bugs are coming back. Bugs are coming back. All right, the great imposter Taihatsu, that's it. Hey, let's get off this beaten path. Let's take this right here, this thing right here. Throw that over here, because we don't want to talk about that no more. Your subscribing has been epic. We are gaining, correct, Jordan? Like in a month, we're gaining like 1,000 or 1,200 or something like that. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's awesome. Um, do we got anything coming in from anybody? Do we have anything down the road? We're going to talk about some fans pretty soon or some cooling that we've done. Anything else? Uh, we got some gambler news coming up. We got gambler news coming up. What about Vexus? We got any more Vexus news? Yeah. What do we got? Um, we're going to do an over under soon on Vexus. Over under, VX21. Are we going to over under, if you know what I mean, <laughs> the company? Yeah, well, we, they're doing a good job. They are on their own, over and under, if you know what I mean? Yeah. How, how can I. Do, do you think. Why doesn't America know about this? Why do we know about this, Jordan? Uh, we, we got the inside track. We got the inside track, that's right. Hey, Vexus, how are you doing today? Hope you're watching. Probably not. But keep your over under working, if you know what I mean. I know there's one guy that's going to watch this and laugh right now because he kind of knows what's going on, too. So, we're going to do some over-under of Avexus. we got some gambling news coming up. We've got some cooling things coming up, some sign stuff that we did. Um, you guys are rocking it with the subscriptions. Keep subscribing. Um, the merch kind of slowed down. I don't know what's going on there. Jordan, you're not pushing the merch hard enough. What's going on? Let's get the merch sold, Jordan. We need new, we need new stuff. we got to get this stuff out the door. So, let's get that stuff sold. All right? Somebody sent me a picture of their... They were rocking it at some baseball game. You see that one? No. Yeah, they sent me a... One of these, what are these called? Selfies? Or whatever? Yeah. yeah, they were like, yeah, you got my team hat on, and it's just there. I think they're at like a St. Louis Cardinals game or something. Oh, send it to me. We'll post it on Instagram. All right, I'll send it to you. Rock and roll. That's awesome. Yeah, that's it, guys. I appreciate it. It's too hot to be doing this. That's it. We got to open up the doors. Chad is extremely pissed because all six fans he had going, which are not doing much, are ah. off. He's hot. His bald head is really glossy because he's sweating. That's it. That's all we got. So, as always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that now. <sighs> Who's gonna like this video, you think? The Taihatsu crowd. You think? Yeah. Is it big enough? Oh yeah. What about Bruce Lee? Think he liked this video? Alright. <laughs> Bruce Lee? Alright. Taihatsu. Then all the Taihatsu people are now gonna soon to say I don't think they're gonna say speed. But the money part they're making. Reliability. You know? Yeah. Let's go. Reliability. Money. No bricks. Is that what they're gonna scream? Let's do it. We're out. See ya. Have a good day.